things are going, as is Kelly Pavlik. If you saw the countdown show that helped to set up this fight, it established the kind of intensity oh. that he's shown there as Taylor suddenly gets Pavlik in big trouble. Kelly Pavlik getting right by hard right hand. Ends up there, and now Pavlik goes down. That is it. That was a tremendous barrage from Jermaine Taylor. That was the oh. best offensive show oh. in Taylor's last six fights. That was so a right, a right hand ball. started that barrage. It was a, a minute and a half to go, a half a round still to go. And it was followed by a series of rights and lefts. And Taylor has Pavlik in big trouble. And a chance to finish him right here. I'm, I'm so surprised. Pavlik said he didn't think that Taylor liked to get hit. Nobody likes to get hit, but Taylor has taken those hits. Taylor said that he didn't think Kelly Pavlik is much. And that and right hand is hit Taylor. Taylor is stuck. Left hook. Knocks Taylor's head up. Up and down has Taylor in big trouble. Down goes to the oh, And, and we Steve have is going to stop the fight. Oh. That is correct. There's a brand new middleweight champion. He's from Youngstown, Ohio. What a muscle, assault. Muscle memory strikes again. shot came from but it definitely hurt uh, Jermaine Taylor what a performance by young Pavlik what guts to get off the floor the difference in this fight Mark Tibbs is thinking watching the man he did so much good work with four years they were together but a new team and uh, on with business. It's possibly been the best start to a fight I can remember for Dillian White in quite a while. Just landed two really good right hands there. Beautiful shot. There's the speed as well of White. Fantastic. Walks straight into that for Vekin. He's been spot on from the opening bell, Dillian White. And we wondered how much was left with Alexander Povetkin after the close, close fight with Michael Hunter. Athletic. Nimble, Povetkin still chugging forward as he has done through his career. Oh, but a beautiful shot. countering shot from Dillian White. And down for the second time. Didn't see it coming. Timed sweetly to perfection. And he's doing a job here on Alexander Povetkin, Dillian White. And it's very impressive. Yeah, that was a brilliant, short, fast left uppercut counter. The bell. Saves Povetkin for that round. Is that punch resistance just going a bit? The legs slower. Take nothing away from a very good one. Oh, big shot. shot from Alexander Povetkin. And he's knocked Dillian White cold here in the fifth round. And that is extraordinary. Unbelievable. And when Alexander Povetkin had lost every single round, he beat down twice. He finds one huge shot that lays out White, who is being tended to immediately by the paramedics. And that is one of the biggest shocks. No matter what happens, obey my commands. Good luck to you both. Out of a major fight several years ago was against Lennox Lewis. I was going to remind people of the nice uppercut by Ruddick. Oh, there goes Terrific uppercut that he is. Ruddick using the jab sparingly. Razor Ruddick is not a guy that throws a lot of punches. Great. There's the uppercut landing, but this time Morrison absorbs the punch. But he still paid for it. Oh, he hurt Ruddick with a right uppercut. Razor Ruddick got rocked by the same punch that knocked Morrison down. Lifted. Give him a standing eight count. It just seemed like Morrison had a big advantage there that they took away from him. Tommy Morrison hurts Ruddick, but that counts as a knockdown because of the timing. And eliminates the possibility of Morrison knocking him out. The only reason why I was critical there of Ron Lipton, who, by the way, is a very, very good referee. Let's take a look at that knockdown. Now, Morrison starts with the uppercut. Tremendous shot. He set Ruddick up for it, then drives it back. Now, watch Ruddick's flow. He holds on to the ring for support. It's a quick call. Quick call there.
by about 10 more seconds, and it's a long one. He will not do it. Oh, my, it's over. Toward the end of the round, Ron Lemon says I have seen enough. Morrison, terrific left hook. And you are going to see it. My goodness. Lands all that right against the canvas. It was a big shot. Now we get into the subjective calls here. They're standing in. Now, Ruddick is taking quite a pounding here late in the round. So Ron Lipton comes in. Ruddick doesn't have that much time to kill, but he doesn't tie Tommy Morrison up. So Moore comes in here. That big left hook snapping back the head is what's in it. Oh, there it is again. So Peter probably hasn't been clean, hit that clean in his last two fights. And there's a right hand. And it's a knockdown. So Pate right now trying to keep his composure. Right now, what he needs to do is he needs to play more defense. You know, when you have a big, strong guy like this. Oh, and know, another. Oh my goodness. Another shot. That so he's fighting with a heavy heart, but he says that's going to take me to the victory. Quick that's combination there. Now a left hook. And he drops the right kick. And Zapata said, look, I've got 25 knockouts and 32 wins. Was he They're out? underestimating here, but not a big left hand, Woo! and Baranchik is in trouble. And here comes Zapata pouring it on. And now Zapata goes. Talking Baranchik's legs once again wobble, but Whoa! there he goes down again. <laughs> oh, man. Five, six. Having that right hand waiting for him. Oh, oh, nice counter left from Jose Zapata. And here we go. Chong says, give me one more. Go down, baby. That's okay. Oh, knockout yet because these two guys have a heart. Oh, big left hand. He bends the leg. And this fight is done. What a knockout from Jose Zapata. John with a big knockout here. Going into this round, I have him three rounds behind. Chris Eubank, of course, that is. That's the Eubanks, Eubanks is on a roll here. This is it. This is his only chance. He's got to take it. Desperate trouble right over us. Eubank pouring it on. Tonight's his night, Dave. I'll tell you, he's really hurting Eubanks here. Eubanks looks on the verge of being stopped. And it's not from being hurt. He's just knackered. He's tired. He's exhausted. What a round. And he's down. He's straight up. Back he comes. Oh, and he's got Watson down. Mike. I don't believe this. Watson is What's gone. He he's he's rocking. There's the bell. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. Watson is out on his feet. I don't know if so he's got the strength to finish it. Like he's, he's, still he's really in trouble here. Eubanks is doing the wrong. Watson's got the back to the bend fight and keep his hands up. The referee's on the foot there to stop no, it. He's stopped it. Oh, he's stopped it. Unbelievable. Oh, no. That is the most incredible end to a world title fight I have ever.